Hello, hey guys, Zogi Saint here, and welcome to the channel. We have the Theamine Legion Raid patch notes. Now, I'm making this a little bit late because yesterday I was like out all day, and when I got home, I just passed the heck out. So, without further ado, uh, let's get straight into these patch notes. Obviously, we do have Horse Daddy coming, Darkness Daddy, whatever daddy you want to call him. He's definitely the daddy of Lost Ark. So, let's get into it. Theamine Legion Raid Commander Darkness has finally appeared under the red sky, thanks to account, blah blah blah. Entry. Players can challenge Legion Commander even without completing the prelude quest. So you don't need to do the prelude quest. Although I do highly suggest doing it because it's really cool. And I actually like skip all of the story in Lost Ark. But I didn't skip that quest. So it's really good if you want to go check it out. And there's a bunch of materials you can get from it as well. From the one before the prelude one. Like the lead up to that one. I think you get about 80,000 honor shards. I made a video about it if you're ready for Thay Mine. And it's all in that video over there. The thing my Legion Raid has three gates in normal mode, four gates in hard mode. We're going to be challenging normal mode today on stream at 7 p.m. EST. So drop on by at twitch.tv slash augusent. You guys can watch me die over and over and over on my breaker. Oh, hopefully we just go in there and one punch it and we win. So we'll see how that all goes. I'm really excited. Related updates. This is all like the new stuff with the raid, obviously. New achievements. Stark uh, Barathon has been added to Legion Commander Raid. I believe it's this guy. He's one of the bosses in there or something. I'm not sure. Thayman has been added. Legion Commander Category and a Task Tracker. Legion Raid Exchange NPC. There's a new uh, Thayamine Emoticons pack, which you can obviously buy with stuff you get from the raid. Three new mounts related to the Legion Commander. Darkness Legion Commander has uh, been added. And after clearing high difficulty gate 4 of the Legion Commander Dark Legion Commander, Thayman players can use the selfie mode in gate 4. It cannot be used in the previous gates, unfortunate. And you can also do the uh, Trixie on Training Grounds updated Thayman Despair. You can practice gate 3 and 4, the minigame, the clash, in hard mode difficulty. Entry gate 3 is 1610, gate 4 is 1630. Can stop participating without any restrictions. Gear durability will not be affected upon death in the training ground. So this is like just, you know, trying out the stuff. So if you want to go in and try the clash, I believe you have to be 1630. If there's another one in gate 4, you can only do the gate 3 one, which is up to 1610. And then Thamin the first is a special race to clear the original, the hardest difficulty of Thamin Legion Raider. And this will come out on April 20, so about three days after the patch. I believe this is Saturday. That's when the race to get um, world first, well, not world first, our server first, west first, because I believe uh, Russia's beat it and uh, Korea's obviously beat it as well. So we will be, you know, server first. I think on every region there's like a, a first clear group that actually gets like a bunch of stuff and the titles and all that cool stuff. So there is that. If you're interested in that, I wish I could, but I am nowhere near 1630. We just scraped by 1620 on our breaker last week so we'll see how that goes in the future if we can still actually get a chance to participate in you know not the race but just in like feeling the first you know going in there to feel how hard it really is and then moving on to transcendence now this is a big long topic which i'm going to probably condense down into another separate video completely on transcendence but basically what you need to know is this is the new power type system which comes alongside Thamine and I believe you have gates one through through one two three normal only unlock the first two levels of transcendence correct me if I'm wrong I'm just going off what I can remember and then after that to like get from level three to I'm not sure what the highest is but I know it goes up to like six seven or something like that you need to obviously go do hard mode so gates one three normal will only unlock you the first two levels correct me if i'm wrong of transcendence but like i'm saying you have to complete it anyway eventually in hard mode to get the like full full level out of your transcendence i can't remember exactly up to which level it goes but yeah so this is it it's quite a complicated system not too complicated it's basically like a little board game and there's stuff there and you get bonuses and it's a long thing like i said i can't go too long into it yet because we'll make this video like three hours long just explaining transcendence and i still need to figure out myself so there's cards and then stuff like that and i'm sure you guys have seen this on other streams before so we'll go through this in a separate video i will leave this down below in the description if you guys want to come through and read it now at your own pace but yeah it's basically elixir's less rng -E has a pretty system is what i have heard transcendence level there's a the different levels transcendence can be completely destroying blah, blah blah so this is quite a long post on its own so that's Transcendence, it's coming, it's a gold sink, uh, it has a pity system at least, so that's better than what I think Elixirs will be. And then we have Veskal Guardian Raid, the little bat dude. Now he is at 1630 Guardian Raid, so obviously we won't be doing him straight away because we're only 1620. 
but if you are 1630 go have fun he looks pretty fun the new garden you of there four new achievements one new card uh, additional vesicle card special expedition related to vesicle have been added to the stronghold territory purification level one in the guardian raid okay vesicle can be added to the garden raid so he's going to join with uh tree and froge in that level over there we've got some new cosmetic collections oh i haven't seen this yet two new cosmetic collections arrive in the darkness unleash update the lunar eclipse collection so let's see what we've got there hope this is not super loud yeah it's muted great looking good where's that gunslinger is this the one with the gunslinger man we need the gunslinger panties the mage actually looks good for once holy shit i mean minus the turtleneck but hey it is what it is warrior kind of looks like some final fantasy 14 stuff you guys ever played final fantasy 14 kind of looks like those kind of clothes like the the sicilians or the sicilians or whatever the frick their names are where's the gunslinger Okay, the specialists. Did we miss the gunslinger? Martial artist. Oh, did they? oh, okay, there was the female gunner. Okay. So, not the bad news that I thought it was going to be. Here's another one of here. The blessings. Looks like we're going to a wedding again. Eh, not a massive fan of this. The female one looks alright. We'll probably just get the bottoms with the little, little strap. Was that mages? Okay, so they all look the same, it seems. Not a major fan. I'm gonna say I'm a little bit disappointed. This one's pretty cool. This one, yeah, I'm not a fan. In general, new 1630 activities. Chaos Dungeon Lightman Level 2 has been added. Okay, enjoy that. Everybody that's 1630, we can't get there. Uh, added the item of 1630 Chaos Gate. Okay, so there's a new Chaos Gate. Uh, like at the Chaos Dungeon, that's all to do with the Chaos Dungeon event updates. Daily playtime rewards will continue until May 22nd. We have added a honing support selection chest to the 90 minute reward alongside the legendary card pack nice grand prix special cooking powder has been added sweet so we can get actually make um, some feasts with the event stuff the new fever time events and new daily login reward track has been added all right currency exchange update we know players who purchase royal crystals okay we, this is for the whales out there i have no idea what this means moving on Cackle Satan rewards. Oh no, did they nerf him? Gold earned by Cackle has been reduced. Uh, there it is, boys. So Cackle now drops 3k gold instead of 4,500. So that has been reduced a little bit. Paid power pass selection flow. Okay, we've also updated the power pass. Uh, previously escaped the power pass selection screen. Now they'll go directly to character screen. Okay. Balance and update. This is what we want. Defense, health update. Summoner has more HP. So pretty much everyone over here is getting more HP. It seems like literally everybody. I guess it's for player mind, but there's Sork over there. So I'm loving. All the mages are getting quite a nice little boost. Berserker engravings before. I believe this was the 2%. Yeah, 2% damage reduction over there. 70% on over there have 72%. So Berserkers are a little bit more tanky. Mayhem Berserkers. I'm going to assume all because of player mind. Destroyer, they increased the stat over there before after like the stat scaling with gravity release over there. Hypergravity's damage application has also been buffed by by like 0.1. So and hypergravity damage has been buffed as well by the stat. Like so, like it takes more out of the stat. So spec will give you a little bit more damage on this, I believe. And moving on, we don't play gravity trade. We don't we don't play destroy at all. So for all you destroyer boys out there glavier again we don't play glavier stagger points so okay minimum mid okay so they're giving us some more stagger i guess stuff will pounce uh more oh, has less stagger now okay before minimum oh no that has more minimum and then low is more increase skill stagger level okay so looks like she just got some more increase on her stagger there uh engravings this is for cannot use focus this is for control is there buff to control it seems all the same except for this last part of yeah movement scale cooldown minus two seconds when using dual meter okay i'm not sure what that means but uh yes stats uh barrage rd has specialization stat inquiry before 48 okay so barrage rd got another little buff point like two percent so really good for them barrage focus fire increase pve damage good skill damage spin after spin blah blah, blah. arcana okay now arcana I don't know what's the big change for you guys, but it seems like you got some stagger changes and like a big thing with one of your cards is changing. Somebody was telling me, I believe it's this maybe. Not quite sure, but Akana's apparently 
getting buffed. So good on you guys. Mekana, all you sweat lords out there. You're going to sweat some more now. Summoner, massive buff. PV damage skills of all skills, 26%. That means all, uh, all summoners are getting 26% flat damage increase across the board. So that is huge. And Steed Charge is going up even more. I believe you only use this as a Master Summoner. I don't have that skill on my CO Summoner. And there's a few changes to your pets over there. Engravings, Master Summoner, Orb Cost, Minus 1. Normal skill seems like not much. Okay, there's a difference over there. So elemental skill damage you have gained four percent on the middle one so level two and you actually gained eight percent on the level three one really good over there change the effect of communication overflow so let's see the damage there damage has been buffed attack speed is the same movement speed is the same okay so the damage has been buffed there five percent on the first level um what's that five like eight percent on the next level and like ten percent on the last level so summoners or all, all around going to the moon and here we go baby the stalk the one i've been waiting for arcane magic meter gain rate filled so 10 percent more gauge building on everything inferno's damage increase mana down additional arcane meter gain up skill cooldown change so now it's got four seconds shorter change firepower expansion skill tree as follows okay so it's all that stuff there doomsday changes skills uh cooldown so we lost two seconds on the cooldown really really good little bit less mana the aoe radius is wider so you can hit it from further away the delay between casting mini falling has been significantly decreased okay i put that word in there but it has been shorter delay after using skill for movement and skill cancel timing change of flame era before meter falls been increased yes 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 okay so sulk you're going to the moon buddies you guys need to change your rotation a little bit because now you can't um you can't like uh cast doomsday then use another skill and then arcane rupture you just want to send that doomsday arcane rupture don't think send 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 all right we will go over this uh in a future video like that but i believe saint tone has covered like all the stuff he's got like a 22 minute video about the new sock changes basically all you need to know you get in the moon it's easy to play mages are eating good awakening skill okay so they changed that apocalypse call a little bit i believe it like follows your you know like goes closer to your mouse like a small little area around your mouse but still not good to use on um igniter sock unless you i don't know find some really specific niche thing to use it for and then they changed the uh, igniter as well giving it a little bit of a buff i believe yeah there over there so you get increased crit rate now so good get closer to that crit cap so we don't have to not crit and then feel bad so overall patch notes looking really solid mages to the moon artillerist a little bit of a buff um glavier stagger buff destroyer seems like a little bit of a damage buff as well so really good berserker a defense buff and then everybody else gets uh, like literally everybody gets hp buff it seems and pve defense coefficient so gunslinger has been oh their defense has increased not their hp okay so i take that back so most people but something to do with a defensive kind of a stat if it's not hp it seems to be defense in pvp and pve so good to know that all around clown got nerfed sadly so 1500 less gold there if you're still running your clowns for gold clowns gold has been nerfed two meh skins added i like this one this one pretty meh and what else we got oh yeah transcendence whole system added we'll have to figure that out in the long run and then last but not least we got the darkness that he added so big patch i can't wait to see you guys later tonight on the stream we're going to be pumping through the mine and see how that all goes i'm really excited to get in there can't wait to try it out love to see you guys all there drop on by august saint twitch yes twitch.tv slash august saint that's where you find me 7 p.m i should be up at about 5 p.m est we'll be getting ready for raid at 7 we have a raid group scheduled for 7 so i'll see you guys then i hope you guys are enjoying the patch and i Love you and like you and love me a love and a sub and all that stuff. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video. Augie say now. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the